G'day, I'm Brendan Clark from Brendan Clark Horsemanship. In my last video, I um, you know, talked about uh, putting pressure on a horse or putting a horse under pressure and how it can change their demeanor, their thought about you. And, and basically, a lot of the training, quite frankly, goes out the window in the start. So, um, you know, I, I, wanna, I wanna do a, a follow up with this video and show how I actually, you know, would go about. I showed how it changes a horse's mind, but now I wanna show you how I go about, you know, fixing it or or getting get, going towards fixing it anyway so I I've got one bag tied on him um, I'll put tie this other one on but I, I want you to kind of see how this horse is this is the third lesson the start of the third lesson on this horse um, with these bags he was very overreactive when he come here um, you'll notice in the first part of last uh, the, the last video he, he had his ears back kind of like this and was worried about what was behind him um, the only difference today is I, I haven't even run him around here yet so um, he's going to be fresh and um, again I want to make sure I stipulate that you have to make sure you've gone through all your groundwork before you do this this step but um, now that we've got him you know obviously the bags on him and it's a little windy today you may be able to hear it in the microphone or um, but anyway I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna let him go off I'm gonna predict today that he's gonna be a little better than he was yesterday but he is fresher so see notice again same thing he's going around pretty fast but I imagine he's going to slow down so all I'm going to do is step over here and I want him to come to me and if he doesn't I don't care I'm going to get all the way to the fence and I want to change his direction. So all I'm going to do here so when you get your horses in there and if you, you, you get to this step in the training and they're, when their horse is a little worried about something you're just going to go through and do your groundwork now that's where I say you, if you don't have a round pen, you know, you're not going to even do this exercise um, because, you know, without a round pen it's pretty difficult. You could, of course, do it in a smaller square pen, but it would make things difficult to get him, you know, to come to you and stuff. But you have to have the foundation of the groundwork. So he's making a mistake here. You have to have the foundation of a the groundwork there first. You can't expect to get this step done properly and get them to start paying attention to you so he's making mistakes here and he's cutting back against jumping back against the fence and this is what he was doing like I mentioned in the last video on the first day so if he does this I just go back and he already knows the answer but because something's worrying him he's not doing it the way he's supposed to do it there so all I would do is go about this how I would go about fixing their worry is I would go back and just be doing the groundwork properly but what this does it starts making them pay attention to you again and they, this is how you start teaching them to stay with you and to start relying on you so I want him no matter what he's doing or how scared he gets or how worried he gets about something I don't want him fleeing from it I want him to just start to think about me and start relying on me to help him and this is where I'll start doing it. Oh, he may get him forward a little bit there. So this is just, so he's making a mistake. So let's go back and chase him, that's fine. So every time he makes a mistake, it's good. It's just like the rest of the groundwork. So I just want him to start. See, this is a lot better. The way he's slowing, slowing down. But he is making a lot of mistakes and, and, and again, your horse will do this under pressure. There. And you gotta understand, and that's what this is a follow up to the last video, is that getting these horses to be able to be just as good under pressure as they are, very good, as they are without having any pressure on them. And this is where you gotta understand that it's really, really important to speed things up, make things scarier, put them in a situation and get them, get them to where they're, they understand that when they're under this pressure and things get scary, that they still have to do things exactly the same way as if they're not scared. Just cluck to him there and get him to face up to me. So hopefully this gives you an idea about it, but again, this is the fourth lesson on this horse. He hasn't he hasn't done, I had, I, after yesterday, I filmed yesterday's, I didn't do any more. Um, but I need you, I, I, I'm just doing this to try and show everyone that 
it's very, very important to put a horse under this situation because um, your horses will definitely act differently. And, and any time your horse has ever fleed from something scary, spooked, um, wouldn't go somewhere, this is how they act. Because when they're under pressure, they just, oh, well, we're out of here. I'm not sure. They don't just go, oh, I'm worried about it. I'm worried about it, Brent. I want them to be like, I'm worried about it, Brendan, but it's okay. I might be a little worried and I might step up, but it's okay. If you ask me to go towards it, I know that I try, can trust you. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And the main thing is, is don't, don't just because it's scary for them, don't treat them any differently. Just treat them like it's not even happening and make them, make sure they follow through with all the groundwork and make sure they follow through with the steps that you've already taught them. So hopefully this helps and we'll see you next time.